Today, my brother and I will be flipping a base in Minecraft. Wait, who's at my door? I'm trying to record an intro. Jeez, chill, I'm coming. Mr. Loverfella, I'm from the FBI. Yeah, what do you want? You have been served. President Alex is suing you for illegal mining. Wait, what are you talking about? You can appear in court in seven days and appeal before the jury, or I suppose you could settle with the judge. He can be bought. Well, how much is it to settle with the judge? The total amount would be $1 million. Isaac, how much money do we have in the bank accounts? Um, like 100K. How long do we have to settle? You can settle on the day of court, but not a moment after. Good day, sirs. A million dollars? How are we gonna pay that? Well, I do have a little idea. I'm glad you asked. Dude, we're gonna have to sell the house. We're gonna have to sell the house. No, relax, relax, relax. I got an idea. We're good. Okay, okay. I got an idea. Follow me. This is your idea? An old beach house? Dude, the windows are broken out on this thing. All we do is we take our $100,000 each in savings and we flip this house. We could sell it for enough money to pay the judge off and we'll be good. I mean, that could work, but do we have enough money to pull this off? The front door is not even on this bad boy. I think if we're smart about what we buy and look for deals, we should be able to furnish this thing and turn it into something cool, like a beautiful modern beach house. I hope you're right. But Isaac, let's just get some basic tools, start some demolition, break the stuff we don't like and see where we're at, you know? Try to, you know, just go with it, trust me. I am actually gonna go work on the food source. At least I gotta get some carrots because I'm gonna start with death while we do this. Honestly, I'll just start with a, a wooden pickaxe and I'm just gonna make one for me for now. Then I can go mine, maybe there's cobblestone in the base somewhere. All right, I had to do a temporary carrot harvest here because we literally have zero food or items at the new base here. Now that I got enough carrots that I could feed Bugs Bunny, I am ready to get started on the bottom of this base. Okay, this might seem like a big investment, but I'm gonna be spending 50,000 of my dollars. I literally just wasted half of my money for the entire challenge just for this diamond axe, but I think it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna allow me to break this entire base in record time. Whoa, 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 What did that cost you? $50,000, baby. You already early game half your money, Zach. we just started the video. Dude, it's an early game investment. It's gonna pay off because look at the speed I'm breaking this base, sack. It's oh all gonna be torn down. Oh my God, he spent half of his money already. This is insane. Dude, you gotta spend money to make money. I'm gonna get 10 times the work done as you now. I like what you're doing. Why don't you come here? I wanna show you an idea. Be with your super ax that actually seems to come in handy now. Oh, so now he likes it. I want you to break the pillars that I started all the way up and we're gonna turn this into giant windows. Okay, I can do that, but we kind of need to decide, are we gonna turn this base like into something else? Because I'm thinking we need to get rid of all the wood and change it to sand. I want a modern beach resort. We're gonna have to spend our money on blocks to build it. That's the way. We just gotta be very smart with how we do it. What am I looking at here? It says fart with a duck and a pig on the back of this. That's gotta stay, right? I mean, that has got to make it to the end of this. So I'm just gonna leave this here. I cannot be breaking that off of it. That's an absolutely quintessential outfit. Seven days to figure this out and I have the most difficult biome to make a mine in. Brother. And it actually ends up in water. I think the worst place to dig this. Stone shovel unlocked. This is big. There we go, 36 torches. That's gonna light up basically the entire surrounding area. Perfect. Isaac, what would a modern path look like in a base? Smooth stone slab, like the whitish looking one. Can we be the first people in Minecraft history to build a modern base without modern blocks? We're gonna have to do this. Start thinking about what that color palette looks like. I'm not a shop level five, so I can't even buy half the blocks in the store. So we're really in a serious situation here where I don't know how I'm gonna build it. Okay, there we go. We got three iron and we're about to get two more. That's gonna allow us to craft a pickaxe and two shovels. That's how I'm gonna allocate my iron. Just because there's so much sand here, I guarantee we're gonna be breaking a few shovels today. So we might as well come prepared. I think that with a base of this size, I'm gonna buy two stacks of 64 and this should be uh, one more. I gotta stop there. That's $15,000. Hopefully this is enough to allow us to get a little bit more creative when it comes to our builds. I'm actually gonna be ripping out this farm here because it's obviously gotta go at some point in the video. And it's just, look, it's just disgusting. They didn't even bother to like fix the water here. It's just all around nasty. All right, so step one is remove the water. After we get all the water removed, we're gonna come back through here with an iron shovel and hopefully remove this entire top layer. We spent the next 20 minutes clearing out the farm and build a beautiful walkway in front of the house. Like this is a thousand dollar ax. That's gonna be worth it to buy for a thousand bucks. Um, that was a good price. That was a very good price. That was a very good deal actually. Isaac. What? I just bought an ax with efficiency one, fortune one, unbreaking one, made of diamond for just $1,000. That's a really good buy, I think. I mean, efficiency one, yeah, that's gonna be a little slower than my efficiency five, but it's, it's a good purchase. It's 50 times cheaper. Yeah, but it's 50 times worse when you really that think about it. That is not true, that so is not, better. that is not linear. Mine has this is maybe fortune, twice as bad. Fortune three Fortune on an axe, what are you gonna do with fortune on an axe? Uh, get extra wood, get what does flint that even mean? from gravel, get flint from gravel? No, 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 never mind. We got work to do, we got work to do. Okay, okay. 
All right, so we're gonna head down into Loverfella's like completely disgusting mine down here. Like you bang your head every time you walk. I don't know why you left it like that, but we'll be able to find some more iron down here. This is a good level for it. We don't need to go too much deeper. All right, we'll take this over one more. I don't know if that's gonna look good. I'm gonna do it for now anyway. <laughs> I just throw up random blocks sometimes and just kind of hope that it's like nice. And let's get this cleaned up. Isaac, what do you think of the front door? What do you think of the front door? I'm getting a little bit of a, a little shape to it. It's early. It's early. Don't get me wrong. It's early, but. Oh, the door's on the right side now. I see. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Move the entrance. And then over here, I'm thinking this entire thing opens up all the way across and it becomes like a giant window at some point. I do like it. I question though, where did you get this deep slate from? I bought it. I bought it. Why it did was, we buy it when we could have just gone deeper? It was $15,000 for three stacks. That's a I lot. Said, you know what? That, it is a lot. It might be too much, but I bought it. We got it. We got it. And wait, it's wait. Just a, 15 it's, for three stacks of what is essentially stone that we could have got for free? Well, yes. It's just about getting the vision. I had to make sure it was worth it, and I like how it's coming together. I do. Yeah, it's looking good, but man, we're getting low on money already, and we're not even through like the first couple days. The good news is I planted some spruce trees over here, Isaac. One's already grown, and we can keep working on refining this into a spruce wood farm because I think spruce will be the main wood, so. I'm gonna get them grown up. Wait, it'd probably be better to grow these as three or two by two trees, right? Do we have enough saplings for that? No, we only have three. We have four. Oh yeah, we do, right here. Oh. Perfect, Zach, get me a, a four by, or two by over two here? dirt area. I'll make a few of them. But then we gotta get rid of all these leaves, which is easy enough. Here's more, work. here's more, here's more. All right, enjoy, good luck. There should be plenty of airspace down to grow this up and we have nine bone meal to accomplish this. There we go. And we got a nice and bushy one too. This should drop a lot of saplings. Sometimes you get those ones with no leaves on it, except at the very top. Can I get a spruce wood resupply? Oh dude, I got so much spruce wood, it's unbelievable. There you go, there's a whole thank stack. Thank you, thank you. Oh yes, I can do this build and make it look good. All right, don't come over until I finish this. I think you're gonna be impressed. All right. I don't know if he's gonna be impressed. This is Risky. All right, guys, so I'm making a spruce farm right here. We're gonna put five sands in between each pillar right here. And this is gonna work lovely, I think, because we already have enough to plant two more full trees. See, maybe we don't need the concrete. Maybe we just need to be more creative when we play this game. And that's all we ever needed, or maybe we do. There we go, that actually looks way better. That <laughs> looks decent, dude. All right, Isaac, come take a look, come take a look. See what you think of the updates. I see the vision here and I do like what I'm seeing. It's just not there yet, that's all. It's not, it's, it's not, not, it's there not. Yet. But I think that you can understand what I'm doing. I'll be working on the left side of the house. I'm gonna be adding a swimming pool addition here soon. But do we have space for one? It's desert right now, but I'm gonna be turning this into a swimming pool. All right, all right. I mean, the cheaper deep slate I will buy. I bought both of those for 3,500, that's, way less than my last batch. And we can just save these. I'm sure we're gonna need a lot of it. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of a change to some of our staircases in here. Step one, remove all the previous stairs. These are no longer entrances. Step two, prepare the foundation, deep slate tiles. Step three, remove this little hobbit looking design and pretty much everything. I don't really like Loverfellow's mine right here. Like I honestly, I would like to rip this out because if the pool's gonna be there, we can't just have a mine shaft here. Yeah, I mean, look at this. I don't know why there's a boat in there, but this is supposed to be the entrance to a mine. We just literally don't have the mine dug yet. So why don't I dig the mine here and we'll go down to bedrock. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have absolutely no idea what I'm building here. So we're just gonna see how this turns out. That that might might be something I could improve a little bit on, but it's not too bad. I wanna put more of the spruce wood right above that now that sticks out a little bit. We might've ran out of iron, but you know what? We're gonna keep going. Oh my gosh, there's no way guys. I just had to go one more block with my iron pickaxe and we would've found this cave. First things first, we gotta get ourselves some iron so we can get another pickaxe smelting. Pretty weird. Could this be Zach's first giant mistake of the day? Could this be the moment where Isaac comes over and says, Zach, I shouldn't have left you in charge of building the entire facade? Probably yes. <laughs> the thing that's making it look weird to me is that it has this like nasty mangrove wood around the edge. I think if I change this to a wood that, or maybe a brick, this will look better. All right, it has a better shape to it. I think it looks nicer. It's starting to come together more. And you can see the idea, it kind of, it's weird. I don't know, it's kind of abstract actually. What are you working on right now? Oh, I made a new mine shaft, Zach, that goes all the way down to the cave where you can get some deep slate now. Oh, good, good. I bought a little more, so we're good on deep slate, but dude. Wait, you bought more? I still, I, it was a good price, it was a good price. Trust me, it was a good price. What do you mean it was a good price? How much money do you have? $76,000. And oh I've made gosh. the entire front of our base and it actually looks kind of decent. <gasps> Diamonds, finally. That's big. big. I joined the call Huge. and I found diamonds. Basically, I get credit. All right, I'll be up there in a second. All right. Okay, I mean, this cave system is so large. I don't think I'm ever gonna have time to explore the whole thing. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. I just walked into a new room, mine shaft. That's what I was looking for. Yes. 
We are low on health and I also don't have a water bucket or any food to regen. So this fall may kill us. I'm gonna risk it though. I think our acrobat skill will save us. It did, whoo. I'm literally gonna collect all of the rail now. That's all I want from this. I think that is the look I'm going for. I couldn't get it right. I rebuilt it a few times. That way it continues the design. The wood's over there in the corner. We've got the front here. This came out looking really cool, actually. I'm very curious if Isaac's gonna like it or not. Oh, welcome, buddy. Okay, I returned from my mining trip and I think I'm bringing you something that you'll find pretty useful. I got those what out of this? a mine shaft. 64 iron chains. You got think that many good. chains? I know, it took so long to mine those, but I think they'll Dang. look good with your blocks. Why don't you come take a look at our new front? I don't think you've seen some of the adjustments I've made. It's a little different different than what you maybe saw it last. Okay, man, do I hate nice. it. That is nice. It looks amazing. It, it looks really good. I like it. Beach vibes. It's got everything you could want and we did it without concrete. It does. Actually, this is exactly what I would imagine. Like when I think beach home, these are the colors and everything that I imagine. This is perfect. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna sell for a lot of money. I pro I promise. He hates it. I think he hates it. I think I think this is. I just I'm a I'm a creative thinker. I bring the weird ideas. A dark modern base. You don't see this every day on a beach. No, it's not bad. I just don't know if it's really beach theme. I feel like it just doesn't match the aesthetic of the area. So we're gonna have to do some work up there and try to make it a lot more fun. But I'm glad that I got this minecart track put down and we got to put the return path now. This will need some powered rails, but this is a good start on this. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Well, I don't know, maybe no, maybe that's bad. Welcome back, buddy. You don't happen to have a diamond pickaxe, do you? Nope. That is unfortunate, okay. I've been using a wooden pickaxe the entire time, actually, believe it or not. We're gonna do a little pool bar over here. A Couple of seats at the pool bar in the water. Because we're in like a desert beach area, I do think that we should lead in, lean into the desert plants like cactus and dead bushes. So I'm gonna go out there with some shears and get as many dead bushes and stuff as I can. I'm assuming they're gonna be on the surrounding hillside. Yeah, there's one right there already. It's a desert staple to have these. Isaac, I am cooking right now with another idea. What is it? I'm just cooking. Just trust the process. I need a lot of glass right now, so I'm just gonna cook a little bit. Oh, I got 51 glass on me, actually. Oh, you need that? hit me, hit me. There you go. You're about to have your mind blown. All I can say is this is about to be the epitome of beach living. Oh, I see you up there. Yep, yep, just a little that something. That is an... I mean, that's definitely a modern design with those narrow vertical bands. I do like that. It's gonna actually. be, it's gonna give it a nice beach vibe. It's gonna be tough to pull off, but I'm pretty confident here. Okay, that's all we need, dude. Confidence is the key. I have no confidence, but I'm a really good liar. All right. I don't know why it splits here. I think that's what's annoying me. I think it would look better if this was just a big window here. We're gonna need some more glass panes to kind of fill this in, and then we can take a step back and see what it looks like. Now, I think it'd be cool if these all came out different lengths. It's just like a really interesting skylight. All right, Isaac, what do you think of the new addition? Uh, where, where'd you do it on the side? Let's see. Yep, yep. I think it looks good. I think it would maybe look better if those went all the way down to the bottom though. I don't know. I don't know, Isaac. I just don't know. I mean, I feel like, why are you even asking me? Cause you never agree with what I said, you know? No, you no, just... no, maybe, I'm just, maybe, maybe, I'm just saying. Maybe, okay. maybe, but also maybe not. You know, do we know? I mean, maybe not, but you did ask me, didn't you? I don't know if I did. Maybe I did. Okay. Play the <laughs> okay. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. But it could look better, but I'm like, you know what? Maybe that's just how it needs to look. I think the door just isn't good there, to be honest with you. I just, I'm not a big fan of the door. Well, let me come see what I can do down there. Okay. Okay. I, I don't want to admit to Isaac he's right. I, I I just don't like to say that. You know, it's just not words that I like to say. And then I was kind of thinking we could outline this wood with some stone brick. And I think, yeah, that's cool. It kind of really frames the window. We're going to need some more smelted cobble, which which I think I have producing right here. Ah, crap, guys, I think he stole my cobble. I I, I brought it down, what do you think of that? It's, it does look way better now that it's coming down. I think it would look perfect if it was finished. I kinda like the triangle door, actually. I mean, the triangle door is a unique feature. I've never seen a triangle door in Minecraft. Well, I've never seen that either, and I know for a fact that if you're like some bougie dude, you're gonna pay a lot of money for triangle door. All right, guys, that's probably gonna get cut out right now, but listen, lover fella just had to take a break in real life from the build. Like, look at this, he's AFK right now. He doesn't have the stamina to continue, but now not me guys, I am a Minecraft gamer for life. I could play for 24 hours straight if needed. So listen, I'm gonna continue the grind even though he's taking a break. We can even kill him probably. Yep, we killed him. Too easy everybody. He leaves himself AFK, you're gonna get sanded by me. You killed me? Dude, I didn't kill you, a creeper blew up. Oh, I died in sand. Don't make accusations without knowing, dude. I wanna make it a couple different levels. So I think this area right here by the chairs will be a little higher. I guess I'm gonna do the floor and sandstone. I think it looks a little bit better as the floor. I guarantee he's gonna come over and see this and be like, what are you doing changing it all to spruce wood? This is just a placeholder so I can get the whole thing source blocks of water and then we'll break it out. What? 
What happened to the pool? I knew you were gonna come over and say that, Zach, but listen, the only way to fill it up with water is to get it all to the top and then we'll break out the floor. Oh, that's a pain. It's a, it is a sucky process, yeah. <laughs> I thought he ruined it. I'm glad he's doing that, man. I would hate that. All right, now that we have the pool as actual source blocks, it's gonna go a lot faster to just come through here and spam buckets everywhere. Okay, and there we have it. The pool has been officially filled with water, and now we gotta take our ax and just kinda cut this all out. And it should just fall down and look like the entire pool is full of source blocks. All right, we have decimated the entire back wall, the whole lower platform. You're messing with the sacred sign. You better keep it in the right orientation. I want the banners back. Part 2.0. There we go. It looks great, absolutely perfect. All right, I want a massive hot tub on this build just because like, I feel like hot tubs are never big enough, especially at a resort area or a really rich person's house. Like I wanna be able to get in the hot tub and not be on top of someone. So I've made it probably double the size of a typical hot tub. The idea here is it's like a foldable glass window that came all the way open just like that. And I, I really don't think that looks too bad. You can kind of tell what that is. Okay, we got the hot tub full of water and I imagined like some sort of waterfall coming down here into the pool. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh, this is nice. Look what I made, look, come here. It's a giant open window that opens and closes the whole wall. And I made a channel for it to be put into when you put it away. Oh yeah, so this is where the door would like, yeah, that's a cool feature, I like that. Do you think that we should like slope this thing up in the back and make the back taller than the front? That's what I'm trying to decide. Or do we just want it to be flat like this? Cause it's starting to look like a wall yeah. and I don't know. You're gonna have to do something about it. I don't know, but you're gonna have to okay. do something. I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. All right, sometimes you gotta let go of what you've already built in order to advance. And in this case, we gotta tear this out right here so that we can kind of open up the symmetry of the pool. There's gotta be something wrong with the original player that built this base. I mean, just look at this red block. I, I gotta tear it down, I, I really don't care. You know, this is super interesting and I kind of feel like I like it. I might have done something here, guys. It obviously needs a lot more depth and stuff, but overall, we're starting to get a cool vibe here. Do I spend 22% of my money on a diamond pickaxe? Each stack of Blackstone cost me $5,000. So as long as I get over five stacks, this will be worth the investment that I just paid because I did in fact buy it. All right, I'm gonna go down inside the mines now and I'm gonna have to do what I have to do. And that folks is collect myself a lot of Blackstone. Well, it seems relatively safe. Let's see how long it takes with this. Oh, that's not bad, that's not bad. So I'm trying to add more depth and also incorporate the colors from the front of the base to the side of the base. So we'll see how this looks when I step back. Um, I'm still not sold on it, but I don't know. It might help get the wood into it a little better. That's kind of cool, why not? Okay, and then we need to stripe all of this wood, which maybe I should have done before I came down because I don't think I can reach the top. Uh, yeah, so we'll have to build some scaffolding to get up to there, but we can get all of the stuff in the lower spots. Yeah, this is starting to come together. And then we'll put some stone brick slabs underneath each of the little spruce columns there. This could be a big play, I feel like. Okay, so I changed it a little bit. I changed this for the cobble. I changed that for deep slate. I think that this feels a little bit better now. It kind of like pulls in those main blocks a little more. I like that a lot more. What do I do with this weird corner? I still haven't figured that out yet. I'm still trying to think about it. I guess glass is gonna be the best maneuver at this point. Okay, and with the new addition of this giant wall I got here, I think it's safe to say that we could completely bust out this into interior wall and kind of open up the entire downstairs basement. I want this all to be one connecting floor. There's no reason to have it sectioned off like this anymore. So Loverfellow's cool sliding glass door right here has to get taken out, but we can rebuild that in the future at a different location. Dang, Isaac, let's see what he ended up doing over here. Cause this feels like a castle to me. Well, it does feel like a castle, but I had to put a door on this thing. What in tarnation? It feels like I'm in a medieval castle on this side and a modern house on the other side. It does, but I haven't got to work on the upstairs yet. So it's not going to continue to look like that. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Wow, that does not feel at all like a modern house, but We'll get there. Trust me, I think that this side is now the best looking aesthetically. You really think so? Guys, comment down below. I'm curious if you like this side or the one I made more, because I truly, not being biased, think mine is about six times better. He is honestly one of the worst builders that I know. And he comes over here and he critiques my build, but then you go around and look at what he built and it's just, I don't I just, it's it hurts me every single time, guys. I don't even know how to take that. He's a tough partner to work with. We're gonna have to make that slabs instead of full blocks because you're taking too much of the headroom down here. Oh, this is the original floor. I didn't even change it. I know, so let's change it to slabs. I got an ax for it. All right.
He has no compromise in his body, guys. If you have an idea and his doesn't line up with it, he is not gonna take your idea. And he had the, the audacity to critique my build over there. And this is what he built. This thing is the most hideous side of a base I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't even know what he was going for here, but listen, I have learned never to touch his builds because then he's gonna freak out on me and be in a bad mood. There's obviously a little bit of clashing here in me and Isaac's design philosophy. So it does make this difficult because I don't know who is really pulling this off better. And that's what that's what is a really big challenge. All right, guys, this might seem crazy, but I'm actually gonna be spending $40,000, pretty much all my money on this 8-bit shovel, which looks pretty awesome. I mean, it's efficiency five. That's gonna speed up basically everything for us so much. So I'm gonna buy this instantly. I know that's super steep and I definitely overpaid for it but sometimes you got to get work done guys and it's worth it now we have this monster of a shovel and just look at it work I can just see the money right now it was definitely worth it so now to even add a little bit of a rounding to it to kind of pull it together and make it feel more like a balcony then we just need a bunch of fences to put up there and we're gonna go probably with glass I think stained glass I think clear glass will be the best way to do it Did the glass dream come true and look as nice as I expected? The answer, yeah, I think that comes out pretty good. Oh, what the heck? Are we going back here? Oh, nice. Lover fella saw me digging the die right and he's helping me out. See, he's not all bad. Sometimes Thanks, buddy. Me. I'm not all bad. Had to clear that out for you because I got the better pickaxe. What do you think of that new balcony up there? That's looking pretty good. I think it looks pretty good, yeah. And while we're up here, we do have to take on the unfortunate task of breaking this roof. I'm going to just chip away at it a little bit at a time. This is a major project. I'll go ahead and fill in the bottom floor with all spruce planks. Is that what we're gonna make the floor out of? Yeah, I would just do that for now. Yeah, I'll help. Let's get it. All right, we're making some good progress here. I still have $54,000. I'm glad that I bought the ax with it and I'm trying to save it as much as possible, but I just feel like I wanna buy something right now. Oh wait, we have oak leaves. Oh, nice, oh, hold on, hold on. I have wanted to put leaves inside of my little things over here to make fancy rich people plants for a long time. We'll compost it up. Unfortunately, they look dead, but I think that's okay because we're in a desert and that's the best we can do. We need four more of these. All right, so I think the name of the game, like it's been for most of today, is actually just demolition. We gotta tear out most of this. Honestly, for me, it's gonna be easier just to rip this entire thing out. It's it's a big waste of time, but guys, I cannot work with this. It'd be better if I just rebuild it. All right, we got 64 plus 11. That's 75 different individual walls, and uh, I'm gonna have to just fill this in. <laughs> this doesn't need to be here. This is breaking it all. Oh, well, that's okay. We're, we're sharing. We're exchanging ideas now. So I'm thinking something like this. Okay, that's a little better. We obviously would want maybe a little opening in the center here to get up and down. Okay, next course of action is gonna be bringing a balcony and a complete 360 around the base. And I'm gonna make it one wide to start and then we can work out from there and make it two wide or three wide depending on how big we wanna make it. Even though our ideas aren't really matching, we still built this at lightning speed and the result, now you can swim in some serious privacy over here, all right? It's the ugliest looking green I've ever seen. Genuinely, it looks more yellow than green, but it is what it is. It feels a lot more contained and clean too. Like I actually feel like I'd swim in this now. I do see an issue, Zach. The water is like dipping down right here and it's really annoying That's me. That's because you see, placed a bridge across it. Well, let's say so you can you blame me. We'll fix it. Oh, hold on, hold on. You can blame me, Zach, but you're working on the outside right now. So you have to fix it. We'll I'm just see. telling you We'll it's see, there. I don't know about that. All right. Oh, it's only 60 each. I'll just buy a full stack of glowstone from the shop. Somebody's trying to rip us off inside. Then what we can do is combine this with the redstone that we actually harvested, turn it into lamps, and then put some solar lights on it so they turn on at night, and that's gonna be really rich. So I found these lights my brother used in a previous video, so I decided to use them, and I think they look pretty amazing. We still have eight more of these plus some glowstone. So for the rest of the glowstone, to me, it makes sense to put inside the pool. Very simple lighting, a little bit there, just under the waterfalls, one back there to light that up, two lights down here to give it a nice subtle glow. All right, the new staircase has been installed. I'm kind of feeling this, guys. It is really cool looking. It's just super easy to get to the top now. The only thing that I would say is I feel like maybe the staircase could have a little bit more variation in color. We might want to go in here with like some spruce stairs in the middle. Interesting little design for this staircase, Isaac. A little more gothic than modern. I'm going to be completely honest with you. None of these houses exist in real life. I've never even seen this house design. I watch a lot of uh, YouTube rich people. Isaac. I mean, it's I just, would love um, to see the real life equivalent of this because it doesn't exist. Nobody's ever built a black modern house like this. Oh, they have, they have. Like these farm. are real, these are that real. That wasn't like a farmhouse. Yeah, that explains it, that explains it. 
What? That explains it. That's all I'll say. That explains what do you, it. What do you mean that explains it? Nobody's ever seen one of these. This is uncharted territory. I have added walls, added fences, and most importantly, come in and added custom lighting and lanterns around the edges. Look at that. This looks pretty clean out here. I got to give you that. This looks clean. I like this. Simple, modern, and square. That's what it's about. A lot of sharp edges. Now we go back up here with our spruce logs and take a look at this innovation. Kind of looks like an alien spaceship, but I think that top needed broken up. And so we brought that exact same little extendy thing out with a different design, but this time it's a little bit reversed. So let's go back to the top and get other things fixed. Okay, some extensive work was just put in by me and it really does feel a lot more modern now. I basically just blacked out the entire ceiling and brought up the walls. I just got a little carried away with it, but listen, it feels like a complete house now. Honestly though, I'm starting to get a little bit burned out on the inside here. So I'm gonna go to Loverfell and see if he wants to switch. What's up, partner? Switch jobs, you're on the inside now. I'm getting bored in I here. I've done too much. I just decimated the outside with lighting everywhere and it looks so good with these uh, shaders on, doesn't it? Just like subtle and beautiful, but come over here and look. Oh yeah, you did. It is nice, I like the ground lighting, yeah. Not only did I do that, on this side, I enhanced it by bringing in more modern touches, bringing in that same original design, and the base lighting at the bottom lights the building from bottom to top. Look at how good that looks. The only thing is I feel like the top right and left side have a little bit missing there. I don't know why, is there a glass? Maybe there's a glass missing. Yeah. I yeah. I bought a shovel, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tear out this massive farm here to the right of the base and then maybe work on that mine shaft. Good, good, that's good, that's good. I just gotta get him out of here, honestly. At this point, I feel like he's he's really not sure what the build is, and I think he's making this into a castle. I'm trying to preserve my original vision, but it's getting really hard because this does not feel like a beach house. What in the world is he doing? Well, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a balcony. Okay, I think we need a balcony. We don't really have one anywhere, and so this side to me feels very good for a balcony. He added a couch. Thank you, Isaac, for the <laughs> very nice detail. Lovely. So what I'm thinking of doing is making it so the balcony kind of comes out just a little bit over here and actually hangs over and becomes a new roof for the mine shaft. Now this whole building definitely needs torn down and reconstructed in the modern style that we're using for the rest of the base. Like this can't just randomly be here in all different blocks. Oh, it looks like Loverfell is connecting the inside of the base to this at the same time that I'm building it. That's pretty interesting. So a four furnace kitchen might even do more. We're gonna have lighting that's going to be placed really cleverly underneath right here. So this is the island where you're doing all your cooking. This is also cooking. I don't want this entire thing to be pure cooking. So I'm gonna oh, go ahead and split it up. So I think it'll come all the way down to about here. This will be part of something else. I'm not really sure what. All right, so the other side of the base has a swimming pool. I think we want a water feature on this side of the base too, but it's gonna be a natural water feature and I'm actually gonna be using mud to do this with. All right, there we have it. This is going to be the new pond. Once I get this full of water, it's gonna look awesome. I guess I can start filling it now, actually. Um, and then you'll be able to see how well this mud looks underneath the water. It actually looks really good compared to sand. All right, check this out. So not only have we redesigned the entire outside and made this look a lot nicer with more depth and added that and the detailing and everything on the outside, we've also completely redesigned the inside. We came together and worked on the downstairs, which didn't change a lot from earlier, but we also redesigned the upstairs. It feels like you're walking through redwood trees. You've got some seats right here. Turn this area into a seating area with some flowers. Climb up and creep on people swimming if you're a weirdo. Yeah, I think, Zach, that we can put this thing on the market. We are ready to make our money back. Well, Isaac, after all this work, we finally got a buyer. Dude, I am ready to be done with this. We need to get our money out of it. Now, let's sell. This is the shortest and easiest base flip I've ever done. Wait a minute. Isaac, welcome to the beach. Oh, this is bad. Dude, the whole base is designed around being tropical. It's snowing. Oh, the whole pool is frozen. Isaac, wait, where'd the guy go we were selling it to? Where's he at? Dude, he probably abandoned ship. I would if I was buying this base. Isaac, we actually have so much work to do if we're gonna sell this thing. No one's gonna buy a resort in the middle of the winter like this. Okay, there's two options here, Zach. We can either get rid of the pool and pretend it was never here, or we can kind of fence it in and make it an indoor pool. All right, all right, let's start with the pool. This obviously needs enclosed. We, we have to enclose this entire thing, which is a massive project. So Isaac, you start working on breaking whatever needs broken. I'll start getting some materials. All right, so no real plan yet on how to do this, but I think matching these spruce columns right here along the edge should make it light up nicely. And I can also knock out this street light because we're not gonna be outside anymore. 
I mean, theoretically, could the hot tub be outside in the snow? Because I always like taking hot tubs in the snow. No, 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 no. Let's enclose it. Let's enclose it. Okay, so we're just going to bring back another pillar then. We can do that. We'll just extend the base. As soon as we thought we were done, another issue popped up. But we're not giving up. We're doing everything we can to make this base look fantastic. All right, look at this. So it goes up. It's got a second layer in front of it. You can see how it's kind of connecting. And then, then we could create like a really similar design, but I like how it's always consistently different. So let's create an actual different design over here. I've successfully brought this pillar all the way around the base and I got to go back now and stripe it so that it's all the same color spruce. And I actually like this. I think we might end up keeping this design, even though I just did it as a placeholder. Big glass windows on an outdoor or an indoor swimming pool would make sense because you want to see the outside while you're swimming. All right, there's the shape coming in, looking clean. And then we take this all the way down and this becomes a giant window. And it is it centered? Probably not. Probably not. That's okay because we don't care about that here. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a massive issue I just realized. Look at this. It is not symmetrical at all. On this side, we only have one wide. And then on this side, I think it's three wide. Okay, you know what? I'm sold. I'm actually going to be expanding the pool too wide so that everything is symmetrical when I'm done here. I am committed to exactly what I'm doing here. And you can see it is completely not symmetrical with the pool, but that's okay because none of the base is. Oh, wait a minute, what the heck? You didn't make this, why? It's good, it's good. Cause I got this, I got this really good vision. So just trust it. Yep, just trust it. Okay. Which I obviously don't have. I just make that up. Well, now I'm rethinking the entire pool expansion because he didn't even line up the front with the entire new pool area. This is very concerning to me. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just want to emphasize that, okay? Repeatedly today in this video. That looks better. It's still a little bit too flat here, but um, we'll fix that at some point later, maybe. Nope, can't. Hold on, we need this because this is the only way to walk around the pool on the inside. We're gonna have to make the pool less long. We're shortening the pool so that you can make this janky design out front? We have to, we have to, because this design is the most important design I've ever made in my entire life. Okay, trust. Have to. Trust, trust, trust. The vision would be to turn this entire corner into a window. Like the entire corner is a giant open window. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this stripped and see how that would look. Okay, well, it looks bad at the moment, but. I think it's because this goes three and that goes two. So I'm gonna break this entire pillar we built. Now it should be even. So then this entire thing becomes a giant corner window and we can take this and extend the balcony out a little bit this way to kind of have that same little layer on the entire edge. Yes, 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 this is good. I was so focused on building that even Isaac came and performed a rant about my build, but I wouldn't let that affect me. Isaac, this looks good. I'm not gonna lie, this is looking good. Yeah, it's actually coming together pretty nicely. Um, I think I want these big windows here, Zach, to just be all glass, because I think if you're swimming, you'd want a view of the surrounding area. That's what I'm saying. That's what I did over here. Two giant, massive corner windows. Like, yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Oh, crap, you screwed up the symmetry there again, though. No, 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 it's not supposed to be symmetrical over here on this side. Yeah, okay, yeah. But first, an indoor plant. If we get one more of those, Isaac, we can put a second one over here. That'd look good. And then this could turn into a little grilling station right here. I see you. That's good. I know Loverfella isn't really going for the symmetry look today, but I am determined to at least get the swimming pool to be looking right. So the idea is that we're going to actually extend this out and this is going to be some area you could potentially sit in and we'll go ahead and bring this all the way around. I think we're gonna take it right here. All right, I ran out of these deep slate tile slabs here, but this will be the new design for the hot tub. We're also going to arch it up in the back to kind of have a triangle there. And then each side will slope down like this. Interior, we need to get these sandstone slabs to come all the way around so that there's seating for everyone. We need more deep slate. The only way to get it is through my, me and my pickaxe. So I guess I'm going down the mines. Ah, that's why I made it though, Zach. You're going to have a fun time down there. But before I go down the mines, I can't mine in a place that doesn't have a fully furnished interior. So I'm going to redecorate the mine interior first. Yeah, why not? I think this is as high I'm going to bring the back of the hot tub up. If we go too high, it's going to get too pointy. And now it feels very grand up there. I really like that. We'll put a couple of like the water streams coming out of it right here. And then identically on the other side too. I absolutely love it. I don't know exactly why the water is coming off to the side there though. We got to fix that. So almost three sacks of 64. I don't know if it's enough, but this would have cost me $15,000. So I think it was worth taking the 10 minutes to come down and grab it. I'm going to use one stack to make just tiles and then I'll save the rest and I'll put them inside of a chest for either of us to use. All right, sand has been cleared. I have plenty of it in my inventory now. So I'll go get to smelting some glass up for Loverfella to use on those windows. This is, I put some uh, deep slate in there, whatever it is. So you can get a little bit of that if you need any for a build. It looks like there's some glass too. Oh, I need some of that. Glass delivery for Fella. 
Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Has arrived. Yep, it's right there on the other side of the wall. Well, first, we're gonna try to get very crazy and see how this comes out. But I wanted to make this essentially like an outdoor cabana. But because we can't be outside because it's cold now, which is crazy, I could do something like this, where we have this like alternating thing of like wood. Some of it goes up, some of it comes down. Never seen anything like this in my life. And then we fill the inside with a bunch of glass and then it creates a absolutely bizarre design that I think people would just adore living in. It's all, it's very weird. I can't tell. You think, I think it Hold looks on. okay. Though. Let me scoot back. I like it because it's unique. That's what I like about it. All right. It just looks interesting. I think it might need a couple more tweaks, but it's, it's getting there. So that's going to be the little indoor cabana. Now I can work on the fun part, which is like detailing it and decorating it. So I wanted to have like a bunch of nice little fun seats out here. I think a couple of deep slate floors would go hard. So you got like seating there. We're gonna do something I like to call squid diving out here, guys. You just break through the ice randomly and hope you find a squid. And if we do find a squid, we can actually make some black ink, which we need for the tinted glass. All right, now you do have to be careful when diving for ice squids, because as you can see, the whole surface looks like you can swim through it, but it's actually ice. And then you have to break through it and you have to leave yourself enough time for that. All right, we're continuing our search for this squid. We will not give up. There he is. Perfect. He's swimming right at us too. Come to me if you want to die. Oh, say less, buddy. Say less. Perfect. This is what we needed. And if my Minecraft knowledge is correct, this will turn into black dye. And it did. The only thing we would have to do from here is just surround the black dye with normal glass blocks. And we should get some tinted glass that we can turn into panes. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Give it a test first before you go all in on that. But just glass. I got plenty of glass. We have so much sand here. I think that looks good. The black kind of disappears a little bit. So I think on this, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And one squid got me half of a stack. So you do, it's not that hard to get. What do you think of the little chandelier I made here in the kitchen area? Does it need something, do you think, or not? Like, cause I feel like it looks a little weird how it's hanging. Like, does it need a, does it need a ceiling fan? I think enclosing it like that looks okay. The black glass looks good though. I like that stained glass. All right, we still have more to do, more walls, more windows, and uh, oh, I like the double fountain. Yeah, honestly, I think now that we have this whole area enclosed, I'm gonna work on getting an upstairs balcony, Zach, right here. Oh, an indoor balcony that looks down? Well, this window didn't really make sense anymore because this is gonna yeah, be indoor. Okay, all right, yeah, on. turn that into an indoor balcony, sure. Yeah. What I would need here, and this is gonna be a little bit weird in a base like this, but just, you know, as with everything, trust the process. I wanna try to create some ladders, and then I wanna actually be able to climb up, potentially like right here. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, I kind of need some advice. What are you building over there? A balcony. Now, what are your thoughts on making this a bridge across? I was the thinking the same. Okay. But you have to make that look good. It has to be a good looking bridge. It has to be well, so good. Okay. What do you think it should be made out of? That's kind of the question. Spruce or the deep slate? I would say regular stone. Oh, stone brick. That was the last one I was going to pick. It looks like the stars are finally aligning and this build is starting to actually look kind of good. Wow, that's crazy. I like it. And it actually does look really good. I like the stone brick selection. That was the right call. And we just got to figure out how we're going to make the interior of the balcony. Are you going to, obviously you can't have a drop off. And then we got to figure out just the rest of the build. You know, there's a lot to figure out. I think, yeah, do we want to huh? do glass? You just died to a spider. Dog. I didn't die. I didn't that die. That is pathetic. I had half a heart for a long time. This is like, you could literally like look down at people swimming or walk across them and hang out up here and then like throw fishing rods down, fish them up, catch them and, and then catch people and cook them. Cook them in a pot, okay. and boil them alive, and then eat You're them. You're getting carried away there. Hold on, hold on. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. My bad, my bad. Okay, so I don't think either of us really had a plan for how this roof was going to look, but I believe we could probably just bring this around now that we have the outline. Oh, this is a satisfying job for me. And then after I get this entirely enclosed, we're going to come back and knock out some sunroofs for some natural lighting on the swimming pool. All right, guys. So we got the upstairs balcony looking okay. You can see we kind of added this like futuristic, I don't know if it even is. It's just like a modern layer of glass. And so then when you're on the inside and you look up, it is fully enclosed, but you can still walk outside and enjoy the balcony. So the last area on this pool to close in really is just this window here. Some serious design issues I need to remedy over here. And it's just like, what do I do with this entire section? So basically we're doing a glowstone and then three sandstone blocks and then another glowstone. And it actually lines up completely symmetrical around the entire pool. It is just amazing when something in Minecraft all lines up perfectly symmetrical like that. Some glowstone lights on the walkway too. That is perfect. We now have some elevated lighting that's really gonna help light up the upper parts of this base. As you can see though, it's still very dark in a lot of areas. So we still just gotta keep adding more and more light as we find areas. 
it's coming together slowly, but I'm out of glowstone, and uh, I'm gonna have to go see if I can buy any on the market or anything like that on the market for a cheap price. 15,000 for 64 of them. That might actually be a decent price. It's half my money. It's very expensive, but we have to get the lighting. We have to do it. I don't know if I had to spend that much, but I had to spend a little. All right, I am gonna buy, I'm thinking 20 iron ingots, and that should make us plenty of lanterns for the entire new area that we just built. Okay, honestly, I got more bang for my buck than I thought there. I ended up with 23 lanterns and we also have 63 chain that we can utilize to hang the lanterns from the ceiling. Oh yes, lover fella adding the skylight up there. It looks so much better now. That was needed. Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. Now, I don't know exactly the shape, but I have a very bold idea I want to try. It looked like at this point, there was really only a couple final touches to go. The build was almost complete. What do you think of that skylight, Isaac? I thought I'd add a little depth to it. I think it's good, actually. It really lights up the hot tub nicely. I mean, it just looks like it's glowing now. Yeah, look at that shape I added on it, too. It looks a little odd from the outside. That's all I'll say on that design, but I still think it's good. I have been bothered by the floor inside for the longest time. It's just this giant, massive, open, empty floor. It looks the exact same everywhere, but I don't really know how a floor looks in a house like this. I'm gonna have to look up like a literal, actual mansion interior to see. Let's just dig out all of this sand right here and kind of just bring the lake to the house so that the house is literally lakefront on 180 degrees of the base. Lucky for us, we have this amazing shovel that we invested like half of our money into, but it's gonna be worth it because digging all this out is gonna be a breeze. What they're doing though, is it's a lot of neutral colors. Okay, I can't buy these on the shop. So can I buy a wool? 3,000 a stack, we'll do it. It's gonna be white. Turn the whole thing into a bunch of carpets. It's generally around their uh, couches like so. Should it go underneath it like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these are half on the carpet. I think that's fine. It's just a big old fat carpet. This will all be a perfect area to add an ice skating ring. And that's why I did it guys. I I wanted to put an ice skating ring in front of the house, but I was like, that kind of distracts from how beautiful this thing is. And we're gonna be putting in a little hockey arena for all of my Canadian friends. Um, but before we do that, I just got a ton of glowstone. I got even more dust here. And I'm thinking we need like an icebreaker basically to go out through the ice and cut ourselves a path out to the ocean so that we could have ships come and go from the base. So my next objective before building the ice skating ring is actually gonna be taking this glowstone underneath the ice all the way out to sea so that we can slowly melt all this and have a water pathway. I don't know what my brother's doing out there, but we have a base to build. And as usual, I've gotta be the adult in the room. So I spent the next few minutes working on the entire interior and let Isaac be Isaac. All right, I'm much happier with the inside, although the front entrance is still kind of weird and I want to clean this up a little bit more and like make this look nicer. But the biggest issue right now, what the heck is this man doing? He's melting the ocean. I think he's melting the ocean. Okay, but the biggest issue is we've got this little area back here with like no easy way to it. If you notice, there is sort of a trail, but it's also getting demolished by snow. So first, let's go make a very first shovel for this entire episode, which has literally been actually uh, kind of days in the making. Finally, all we have to do is cover these bad boys up because we're rich and we don't look at we don't look at this because that's just not not for us. Okay, the glowstone pathway is now complete. It actually looks really pretty from above the ice here. I mean, it's a little chaotic because the ice doesn't really melt uniformly, but overall, I am really feeling this. And honestly, we're gonna come back to this later and see how the ice melts and kind of refreezes around all this. What's going on in here? Well, I added the glowstone path all the way around. That way it connects a little better. It melts the snow, brings the pond back to life. And then on the inside, I've redecorated by adding a couple swings, a table, a whole entire wine cellar over here, and I think it filled in the area nicely. It is looking good, Zach, and let me tell you, I have a big project on the exterior I think you might be interested in. If you're not doing anything else, right, I got a good project. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Lakefront house in Canada. We need a hockey ring. This looks like the perfect area for a hockey ring. What is this? What do you mean, what is this? That's the way I opened up the water to the exterior, dude. All right, that's fair, that's fair. I guess that's smart though. While Isaac builds that incredibly difficult build, which is a hockey rink, I think we should turn the roof into a pickleball court because you do see a lot of people kind of pull that off. This is really expensive. I could do grass, but I think lime concrete is what I want to do, but it's 16,000. Is there any other option? Unless I do wool and wool's it's pretty close. I think we're gonna do wool, because then I can get wool and concrete. Now I'm, I'm getting pretty low on money, but let's go ahead and start building this court. So first, foundation. My brother kept getting these wild ideas one after the other, and most of them were terrible, but it definitely inspired me to try out some new things like this pickleball court.
It's got this nice elevated triple decker step up and then you're up here to your elevated pickleball court where you've got a nice iron bar fence in the middle. And I also need to get a way up here because there's really not a way up here unless you walk out back. But I got to solve that problem too. He didn't want me to build this. He told me off camera, don't build a hockey arena. Nobody's going to like that. And I said, I am building a hockey arena. I'm passionate about this project. So listen, if you guys like it, I want you to tell me in the comments, but I'm trying my best to try to get creative with the builds, guys. We can't just do the same thing every time, but I am happy with that net i think that is a very cool look to it all right that looks good i don't, I don't care that looks that is just a clean looking thing right there and then what would also be clean is if i was able to put a little bit of light up here and then cover it with some wool and then you get a little bit of light at night and nobody even realizes it's there it's stealth light all right, we have to move quick and unfortunately i don't know if this is the block i wanted to go with or not but the water keeps refreezing on the path i dug out so we have to get this put in before it refreezes seating areas you gotta have a lot of seating in a place like this this is the weird dude that pulled a chair up. Nobody likes him, but he joined the joined the call anyway. Some plants. Oh, you calling up here to see the new addition, Isaac? Oh, I was trying to figure out how you even get up there. This staircase is a little awkward right here. We might need to redo that. Oh, oh don't you worry about that. Come on up into the private retreat we've created up here. Oh, I like it. Oh, is this pickleball? Got a rooftop pickleball court. Got a rooftop seating area over here. I just, you know, thought I'd put a little something up here. It's actually looking good. I just, it's a shameful thing to me that somebody that plays hockey would also play pickleball. I know that I, it, this is just a resort, man. It's just a winter resort. So I did what I had to do. Looks about how I expected. And also it's melting, but um, that's okay. It's not melting. It just hasn't froze in yet, dude. Okay, okay. It's still I mean, early winter. Well, I'm going to be surrounding the whole thing in black stained glass because there's always a glass wall in a hockey arena. Go ahead and do that. I'll add some details right now. Gold needs a little oh, bit more yeah. shape to it. Oh yeah. More hockey arena feeling now. What do you think about doing this on top the whole way around? Hold on. I got to finish this out. I'm perfect placing right now. I can't stop. Won't stop. All right, guys, it's now time to list this in the market. We're going to see if we can make a million dollars today from this base, maybe even more. And it does look nice. Uh, we finished the hockey rink. The inside's done. I'm going to just put it up and see. What do you want to start the price at? We don't want people negotiating below a million. I started it at two there million and instantly got a guy already. I, oh, I, we got two, two guys. This could be good. We got a lot of three. We got a lot of people looking. Hopefully we get this, this thing sold. This could be our best oh, ever. Oh, we have a lot of oh. viewers. They they don't know this is me. We're using clearly alt accounts. My name is Ash Ketchup right now, but we're actually getting a lot of viewers. People are interested. This guy is a critic. Gosh, we don't want him here. We got a random player who's a base critic. I'll review your base. Oh gosh, is this guy like known on the server? He might be. I had no idea my server had actual critics who reviewed bases. By the way, guys, play.loverfella.com, best server in the world. So this guy checked out the base and he was finally ready to give us a price. This is it, finally. After a full second look at everything in the base. 1.2 million. That's, dude, I'll be honest, that's all we need out of this space. We only need a million. I don't know if Ninja Man is like trusted on the server, but we're getting a lot of potentially wealthy people and we're getting some, like a lot of interest here. So maybe Ninja Man is like, like this guy could be an actual legit trusted appraiser. We got an offer of $800,000. I counted it 1 million. That's all we need to pay the judge off. He went up to 950. I said, don't walk away from this deal for a 40K difference. If I don't get 899K, they'll kill me. I'm actually negotiating really hard right now. All right, guys, this guy wants a deal for all the entire base plus the items that I have. And that's okay, because I don't need these items anyway. And he's also asked for my daily rewards, where if you play the server, you get rewards every day. Normally, we don't use these in videos, but uh, I'm going to give them to him for the sale. And now we're going to transfer the base over for the cash. Top G Dom, this is now yours. Zach, you just put a masterclass on a negotiating right there. I mean, you basically didn't budge. And he sent me the money. Let's go. Wow. I was afraid he was going to scam it. me. Let's go. Okay. We did it. We did it. So I how much money do you have right now? Wow. I have 1,000,000. 1, Guys, I think it's time for us to head over to the judge and get the score case dismissed.